hey queens is there a guy that you're really really into is there a guy you have in mind and you wanted to work out with him are you seeing the one guy so if that's the case then this video is for you so i'm going to talk about the single number one way that you chase men so i can go on and on for hours talking about all the gimmicks gimmicks that are true but even if you were kind of perfect in all of these other aspects like for example never talk to a guy first um don't be too available don't respond to text too fast even if you did all those things if you are doing this one thing it's problematic and this is part of the reason why um dating today is so like it's such a nightmare for so many people right it, it shouldn't be like that it doesn't have to be like that and my channel is dedicated so that you can date with fun and ease and in a magnetizing way not in a repelling way so what i'm going to talk about now is a single way that you repel men the most and you repel him the most because you chase him doing this and that is when you're focused on the one guy when you have a specific person you have the specific one guy that you want you have your eye on him and that is literally it by definition you have your eyes on him you're after him yeah you're trying to snag him and if that in itself is not enough chasing for you let's break it down you can you can do it in a very different way where you are not chasing anyone and that is you put yourself out there in the universe and you send out a signal that you would like to get to know people men for you know dating for marriage and the men that are interested in you and that have the same intention they will actively pursue you and court you now what about the other way where you are focused on this one guy well for one <laughs> what happens is that all your attention is in this one guy and therefore you are waiting is he going to choose me is he going to pick me so you're not only chasing him energetically but you're also auditioning let me talk more about how you chase them energetically on an energetic level you think about him and he feels your your energy he feels your thoughts and he knows he knows he feels it and most importantly the pressure is on you see he's thinking and this is funny because all the time you hear this phrase of like never go out with 
people that see you as an option. Never go out with men that see you as an option. And you're like, well, why not? If I am seeing you as an option, I should keep my options open because, so what makes you, just like seriously, what makes you think that you just met someone and you're trying to get to know them, what makes you think that this person should be committed to you and you should be committed to him if the intention is that you are just getting to know each other, right? Like, why? So I'm having my options open and he can do that too. Of course, it's problematic if what you want to do is fuck the people you're dating. Then you're going to be like, oh, I can only fuck one at once. Like so proper, right? So anyway, going back to the fact that he can feel your thoughts and the pressure is on. You're going to expect things from this person and why are you expecting things when you are just getting to know each other you don't know if it's a match now let me tell you something the men very very quickly know if it's a match for women it takes a little longer why because he needs to prove he is who he says he is. And therefore, he is to pursue you. He is to court you. So when you are with the one guy, when you are focused on the one guy, where is the chase? Where is the pursuit? If you're a sure thing, you're only focused on the one guy. You're only into the one guy. So you're a sure thing. Where's the chasing? Where's the pursuit? Oh, and he knows it. It's even worse that he knows it. Because now there's no competition. Now your perceived value tanks. Yeah. So again, you're a sure thing because because he he knows it and you are only into this one guy so if he's not chasing you who's chasing who you are chasing him even if you're not calling him up even if you're doing all the gimmicks yeah, maybe they're not gimmicks, but you know what I mean, right? Even if you're doing all the little tactical, superficial things of like, let me take five hours to respond to the text. You're thinking you're hard to get this way, right? And meanwhile, you're just focusing on this guy when he has never um, earned you. He has never proven himself to you. And most importantly, he hasn't aggressively pursued you. So again, the reason why I am making this video is because I have people reach out to me for coaching inquiries, but what they want is they want my help to snatch or snag a particular guy. And what's funny is that a lot of times it does end up happening that the guy they were having trouble um you know getting him to be into them a lot of times it does so happen that he ends up pursuing them it's not really what i do what i do is help you get engaged to 
a protector and provider that will treat you like a queen where you are free to do whatever the fuck you want with your time and energy and you can live a life of ease and flow while you're still into the guy right because he treats you so well he's so into you and he's such a prince charming and he's such a good husband and stuff that how can you not end up being into him in you know at some point in time whether it be from the get-go or later on it always happens now when you want me to help you snag the one guy you're basically telling me help me pursue this man how do i conquer him how do how do i seduce him right and that's not what uh, my coaching is about because we are a feminine energy practice where the woman is pursued and courted and you know this thing and you're the one being adored it's not you adoring the guy it's him adoring you you know like I said, you do end up adoring him once he has proven himself. Could be years, could be less, right? But when you are focused on the one guy, you're cutting out every other possibility of someone actually being crazy about you and pursuing you but instead you're you're there waiting you know texting back answering all you know kind of like being there at the beck and call of you know for whenever he does feel like giving you some attention some crumbs right and you put yourself in um in a position of not only you being in the masculine energy being you the pursuer but in a position of potentially being taken advantage, you being taken out for a ride, right? Why? Because you want this guy. So I was talking about this example of a coaching consultation that I had not long ago. A girl really big into manifestation. She was, folk, of course, in the manifestation community, it's all about the specific person, right? About manifesting your specific person. So she was with this one guy that she's like, he's my twin flame. He's my twin flame and he's the one. Fast forward. Oh, she ends up. Oh, when she met this guy, he told her, I'm never getting married. Just so you know, like, if you want to be with me, like, this is where he's, his words. If you want to be with me, um, just so you know, I don't get married. I'm not going to get married. Like, I'm not doing that. And she, oh, ego, ego immediately turned on. And she's like, I'm going to manifest and watch. Fast forward. She, of course, her clock is ticking because she's like 34. And she gets pregnant. Of course, they're not married, none of that. She gets pregnant. And the guy somehow ended up proposing or she got him into pro him proposing whatever i mean she did get pregnant and then fast forward like a year later she had the child and all this the guy 
tells her, breaks up the engagement and cancels the wedding two times. Two times. And again, if this is not chasing, you being still there, all for your specific person, if this is not chasing, like, please somebody in the comments, please somebody tell me, tell me what chasing is. If she's not literally running after him, which she pretty much was, no, I'm, you know, probably not even figuratively. So when you, oh, okay, well, so she, she ends up getting married to the guy like she pays first class tickets to go on a trip to get married she pays the whole thing and oh now they're married so now it's a success story of manifestation she manifested her specific person her twin flame i know how this story ends and watch, I'm going to make a follow-up video on that story at some point. Like, like this story, I get thousands of stories all the time. That's, that's a lot of what I see in my practice. And a lot of times they will come with this inquiry of... I want to be with this specific guy. I, I want to marry this specific guy. And then I'll, I'll, you know, I'll say, I just want you to think. I want you to think about, do you want this specific person or do you want a specific scenario? And the scenario is you get married to a guy that adores you, engaged to a guy that adores you. And then you know, like a scenario. And then they'll think about it for a while, reflect on it. And sometimes they hit rock bottom before they can say, you know what? I want happiness. I don't want this specific guy. I want happiness. So anyway, guys, that's what I want for you. I want happiness and you're never happy when you chase a specific man. You're happy when you are loved and adored, being chased and pursued by multiple men. And then you can choose the best one for you. And that does lead to actually a lot of happiness. Okay. In that. You never have to go through heartbreak. You never have to worry about what the men are doing. Because when this happens, when somebody pursues you very aggressively and they're like really into you, they you're never in limbo, you're never in gray, you're never it never gives you anxiety. It always gives you peace of mind and peace of heart so anyway let me tell you what are your thoughts or tell me tell me what are your thoughts on a specific guy on wanting a specific guy have you been there are you thinking differently what are your thoughts on that topic and let me know if this resonates so that's it for now, ladies, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.